Will Facebook read your WhatsApp messages? Why am I asking this question? It's because of a pop-up that many of you may have received. Let me show you what the message looked like. Did you get this on your WhatsApp? It says, WhatsApp is updating its terms and privacy policy. And right at the bottom, there is a button to accept the new terms. Now, most people would just go ahead and accept it, press that button. They will not bother reading what WhatsApp is changing under the hood. And I don't blame them. We've all been there. These privacy notes, often drafted by lawyers, are, ve are very hard to understand. Plus, you don't really have a choice if you want to stay on the platform. They'll keep popping up and blocking your way until you accept. So you do. It's the easier thing to do. But this time, you must know what you're signing up for. Facebook is changing WhatsApp as you know it. And you should know what this means for you. The new rules will kick in next month. And if you don't accept this new policy, you will have to delete the app. So either play along or leave WhatsApp. I'm not saying this, WhatsApp is. There's a warning attached right at the bottom of the message. This is like placing a gun to your head. So before you accept, here is what you need to know. WhatsApp plans to gather more data about you. Does that mean reading your messages? Well, not yet. At least they haven't said it. But they've devised other ways to intrude in your life. Let me show you what the new privacy policy will allow Facebook to do. It will be able to gather a lot more information about you, your account information, which in this case means your phone number, your address book information, so all your contacts, your status information. This could be messages like available or busy that go right below your profile. That's your status. All the data on your transactions and payments, that's because this will be linked to their new feature, WhatsApp payments. So they'll be able to track all your payments, all your, uh, all your transactions and customer support communications. This could be messages you exchange with a business on WhatsApp. Facebook will be able to access all of this from your phone. And we are not done yet. There is more information about you that WhatsApp could collect with these changes, this new policy, like data about your usage, the kind of phone you use, even your location. So what kind of financial data does WhatsApp want? WhatsApp wants to access your bank account. It may not happen directly. There might be an inter intermediary involved, but they will have the access. WhatsApp would be able to move funds from your account and gather details about the transaction, what you're paying, who you're paying to, when you want the delivery. They will have all that information. Basically, Facebook wants to know how and where you spend your money. In specific circumstances, WhatsApp can collect data on messages too. Like when a message has not been delivered, WhatsApp can keep the message in encrypted form for 30 days. As it tries to deliver it, after that, the message will be deleted. Similarly, when you forward a message with media, like a message with a video or photos, WhatsApp says it can temporarily keep the message on its servers. So while WhatsApp may not technically be reading your encrypted chats with friends and family, it can still know a lot about you. And all that information can potentially be used to create your unique profile. Your habits, your preferences, your transactions, that will be part of your profile. Then this profile goes to Facebook. Facebook can share this information with other companies. Why do they want this information? Because Facebook is trying to make money from WhatsApp. So by tracking you and profiling you, this is what they will do. In India alone, Facebook has more than 200 million active subscribers, 200 million, which means potential data on 200 million citizens, 200 million potential customers. Which business wouldn't want this? They will know what you buy, how much you spend, what your preferences are, your address and contact details. These companies can target ads to you. It's already happening in a lot of other ways. Try searching for flights or hotels for your next vacation. The next thing you know, you will get hotel suggestions, flight options, even ads featuring restaurants where you can eat during your holiday. How does this happen? They're tracking you. What does all of this tell you? Nothing is free in this world. It applies to WhatsApp too. You think it's a free messaging service. It's not. Mark Zuckerberg bought WhatsApp for $19 billion in 2014. 19 billion. Many said he'd spent too much money. But he had a plan. 
Did you know that Facebook makes 99% of its revenue from advertising? That's according to one report. Imagine how much more it can make with targeted ads. WhatsApp could launch Facebook into e-commerce. Two years after acquiring WhatsApp, Mark Zuckerberg wanted it to start making money. The founders of WhatsApp disagreed with that plan. They were unhappy with Facebook's business model. They had to leave the company. What is this business model? Advertising. That is Facebook's business model. Facebook collects your data for targeted ads. That's how they make money. Now it will use WhatsApp to expand this operation, feed it to its giant network. Facebook will use it to sell ads to companies. Facebook wants to host businesses on WhatsApp. So you may see an ad on Facebook or Instagram and potentially end up buying that same product through WhatsApp. That's their plan. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.